Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're off to Ikea. So I thought that I would take you with us, show you what's in there and what we buy as well. And some of you will know we're currently having some renovations done. So we need to get a few things for that. Like I wanna get a two ringed hob for when we don't have a kitchen and some clothing rails as well. But there's also some mugs that we love. So we wanna get more of and a few food items as well. But we do also wanna just get some inspiration for the rooms that we're designing. So I thought I'd just take you with us us. I've got Matt here as well. It's actually the boys' first day back at school today. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we thought we'd take the opportunity. We cannot even remember the last time we've been to Ikea. So let's go. Oh, and if you're new, please subscribe because I have so much home content coming. Obviously, we're undergoing this renovation, so there'll be lots coming up. So it sounds like a shameless plug. But please do subscribe if you're new. <laughs> if you're new, I would love to have you. Um, yeah. I haven't really got more of a reason than that. Let's go get some meatballs. <laughs> okay, so for this come shop with me, I'm just gonna pick up the camera and show you the things that I like as we're walking around the store. So as we walked in, I saw this display and I really liked this glass covering here. I think it's called a cloche, but you could display something sentimental or even a candle or an eye cream I've seen people do as well. And it just looks really special. Then I also spotted my breastfeeding chair as we were going around and they do it in literally so many different colors colors now as well you can also get the matching footstool and then in the sofa section I saw this on one of the arms which I thought was really cool it's like a slatted covering but it would fit on any sofa arm and the idea is that you just put it on there and then you can put your drink down and it won't damage the sofa and it was 10 pounds I really liked it in black I thought it was really cool and then this area reminded me of the look we're kind of going for in our new front room with a big coffee table so I wanted to show you that and I also loved this round mirror. It was 70 pounds and it comes in white or they also had a natural wood or black as well. I just loved how simple it was. And I also loved this for a playroom or a boot room. You could have toys in this unit, but you could also put cushions on top as like a seat. And then I also thought that this was cool to have like a little drinks trolley. It was 60 pounds or it can just be like somewhere to put a drink down next to the couch. Um, I just really liked that. And there was also a matching wicker footstool with storage in it as well. And then I loved this jug for water to have on the table. I don't know if it's for that. It might be for red wine, but I thought it'd be really nice if you were hosting. And then I also love these trolleys. We have one in our bathroom for storage, but I've seen people make them into like arts and crafts trolleys. They're only 29 pounds. Uh, for this size slightly more for the bigger sizes but you could have your coloring books your markers um, and make a whole thing of it and then just roll it out when the kids want to color so I loved that and then this I thought was great for meal prepping I used one that I bought on Amazon in my meal prep videos but I wanted to show you that they have them in Ikea as well and as I was going around I was a bit sad that they were literally selling per specs screens for offices like just sign of the times I guess and then I was also taking some inspiration from this bathroom setup. In our ensuite, we won't, well, we think we'll be able to fit a bath, but it will have to be a slightly smaller one. So then as we're walking around, we saw this bath and we thought that this size might work in the bathroom, but we just wanted to double check that Matt could actually sit in this one. So we had to test it out and he was quite pleased. Obviously he can't like stretch out or anything, but he's too tall for most baths anyway. So it was good to check the sizing of this. And then we were also taking some inspiration from this walk-in wardrobe. We're having a small walk-in wardrobe in our room and we want it to be similar to this with drawers down the bottom and then hanging space on top. And then I also really liked this vanity unit. I would like to have one of these in our new bedroom and I quite liked the mirror on top as well. It was very reasonable. Um, and then this is my favorite fetch car of all the fetch cars, we have this in Fraser's room and Caleb's room as well. I love how it's like a eucalyptus color and it also drapes down so it looks great on a shelf. And then these are also our favorite mugs. 
So there's actually going to be a full haul at the end of this walkthrough. So I'll show you exactly what we did buy. But spoiler alert, we bought quite a few of these mugs. We really like drinking out of them. I know that might sound weird, but whenever we make teas and coffees, we seem to just reach for these mugs. Really like the shape of them. I like that they're matte. And then I really like the stone color as well. So we ended up getting some in black and in stone because we're going to set up this kind of like coffee area in our kitchen. And we would love for them to kind of match then I was also looking at these like coffee flasks but not for coffee I was actually looking for gravy because you know you make a gravy dinner and it kind of goes cold in the jug I was thinking a great hack would just be to have it in an actual flask which would keep it warm and then I really love these knitted baskets they were a very good size and we're trying to vamp up our airing cupboard so like I love the basket section in Ikea anyway but I loved these in particular and they were 19 pounds and then I also quite liked these ones they were almost like a felt material but a little bit thicker you could store anything in these baskets and I think they were called Puda yes and they were 12 pounds each and then as we were walking through we were also getting some inspiration from the art section there was also so many beautiful lights in Ikea but we're not quite there just yet ready to put those finishing touches in I also loved this lantern um, and I loved this wired bin as well and then in the kids section I really liked this bedding it was very colorful but like quite simple like speckled um, but it was weird we kind of whizzed through the kids section because our boys are a bit older now um, and then I really liked this tray I think it was like uh five pounds is it five pound fifty there um but I thought it's really nice I like to use trays to give things a proper place so you could have like a hairbrush on here or some bows or your perfume you can kind of like section things off and then I just love the faux planter area as well and I know succulents are not hard to keep alive but I did in particular like this little set of three fake succulents I thought these would look great in Caleb's bedroom but now I'll go home and show you everything I got so we're home now so I thought I would show you what we actually bought in Ikea the main reason that we went was to buy the portable hob but unfortunately it was out of stock in store I actually tried to order it on their website before but it said it was out of stock on the website but likely to be in stores but unfortunately they didn't have it either but then I started thinking if you had a portable hob because you were doing your kitchen up as soon as your kitchen is done what would you do with it you'd probably put it online or try and sell it so I went on to eBay and there are loads on there so I'm gonna watch a few and just get a second hand one of those so I don't know why I didn't even think of that before then we also wanted to get some baskets for our airing cupboard uh, we basically had our water what is it water tank in a cupboard but we needed a new boiler when we moved in so when we did that we actually moved that into the loft so that we could have an airing cupboard which is like a storage space for towels and toilet roll and all of that kind of thing so I wanted to get some baskets I actually wanted one for all of the Dyson vacuum bits you know like all the extra bits that come and I'll show you the cupboard in a minute but I saw this knitted basket and I really liked it I can't find how much it was but I will put it up on screen but I might even go back and get another one but I just wasn't sure of the size but I've got one for now and I'm gonna have that on the floor in the airing cupboard with all the Dyson bits and then I also got three of these baskets they're just material it was super easy to put together you just do up all of the buttons like you pull the sides up and button it and I was thinking this would be great for toilet roll and then for pillowcases and hand towels maybe so I've got three of those because they can line up all together on one row um, but I'll show you more of that in a second then we also got these hanging rails which is another reason that we went to Ikea very soon I think actually in the next two weeks we need to move out of the two back bedrooms and all of my clothes are currently stored in there so we need a place to just put a few clothes so we got three of these hanging rails they're only eight pounds which is really reasonable and I've actually seen a few influencers use them in like clothing and fashion videos and I think it was Lily Pebbles she has one and she said what she likes to do is sometimes shop her wardrobe so like go through her clothes 
pull some out and put it onto that small railing so she can like have a better look at it or like think about what she's gonna wear. Then we also wanted to pick up a few more of these mugs. We already have about four or five of these ones and we really like using them. I don't know why, but we just keep reaching for these. We like the shape of them. They're like a nice matte finish and we like the stone color. And in our new kitchen, we're gonna do a bit of a breakfast larder almost like the one we had in our previous kitchen, but we're gonna have a drawer under it that is full of like coffee, tea, and all of the mugs, and we'd really like all the mugs to kind of match up. So we got three more of them in this stone color, and then we got six of these, like the black ones as well, and we're gonna have them all lined up in the drawer, just quite aesthetically pleasing. Then we also got one of these coffee flasks, and I actually got this not for coffee, but for gravy. You know when you have a roast dinner or like a Christmas dinner and you put the gravy out on the table and it just goes cold? I was thinking you could put your gravy in like a thermos, coffee flask and then when anyone wants gravy it's still nice and hot i know this might sound ridiculous but i was thinking about putting in into a home hacks video and the top of it here it has that like you just kind of push it to the side and then you can pour and then you just push it back and i just thought it was quite nice looking and everything it almost would have been better slightly smaller but I'm quite pleased with that purchase. Then we also got some Ziploc baggies. Obviously we try not to use Ziploc bags. We try to use Tupperware whenever we can. But when we do, I really like the ones in Ikea. I don't know if anyone else like has used them before, but they do all kinds of like very small ones. Like if you needed it for a kid's snack or dog treats or something, they do these little ones. And then we also got a couple of other sizes as well. This size and like a slightly bigger one for freezer meals as well. Then I also got some new scrubbies, which is not that exciting. I just saw them and I was like, I could do with those. And we also picked up some food items. Whenever we go to Ikea, we always seem to pick up the same things from the food section. So the first thing is the alphabet cookies. My kids love these so much. I actually bought three boxes because I know it's not gonna last that long, but they love them as a snack. They like spelling things out as well. So we really like those. Then I also got the heart-shaped waffles. I actually got two of those because I'm gonna stick them into the freezer. Just super easy to make. You just pop it in the toaster and it's just like quite cute. Be nice to have for Valentine's Day as well. Then we also got the IKEA meatballs. The kids and us really like them. And obviously I only get it when we go to IKEA. So it is like a bit of a treat. They're super easy to make. You can either do it in the oven or I normally just fry it in a pan. And then you can also get the meatball sauce that they sell and you can serve it on mash and it's really nice. Then we also got some potato pancakes, which I actually do in the air fryer. They're nice and crispy and the kids like them. And I think that is it in terms of food. We normally get a bag of the little dime bars, but we have so many treats still from Christmas that I didn't bother. So that is everything. Now I might just quickly show you the airing cupboard that I was talking about. Yeah, so if I take you over here, there are two doors. This door will be to the new laundry and utility room upstairs and then across from that there's this one which is our airing cupboard so an airing cupboard if you're not from the UK because I didn't really know what it was before it's like a cupboard that you have which is storage for stuff like it's a total mess um, for duvets pillows towels sheets um, we keep our vacuum on the door there which is great because as soon as you put it on it's charging um, but then also it's a place to dry things if you don't put it into the tumble dryer so we had a little railing put there and we have hangers so that we can hang up shirts and like football kits and whatever we don't put into the tumble dryer then we also keep the two laundry baskets in here one for whites one for darks but then there's still quite a bit of room behind them so this is where all the dyson bits is which is why i wanted to get a nice basket i think i could probably fit two baskets under there or i might even if i can have space once i clean this up i might have them on show because they're so pretty and then also the three gray boxes maybe there and then also just have a space for duvets and sheets or maybe just towels i kind of need to work out how it's all gonna go but i would like it to be like a more beautiful space <laughs> we might paint these 
um, because they're just natural wood at the moment. But yeah, this is kind of what we're trying to transform. Right, so that is it for this video, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming shopping with me. And if you did kind of like this style video, I would love to know if you just give it a big like. That's a really good indicator to me whether you liked it or not. And then I know to make more of that kind of content. And yes, as I said, we have so much coming up with the renovation. I feel like right now we're in like that nice place before it's about to get really messy. Obviously we lose our kitchen in a couple of weeks. We're gonna try and make like a makeshift kitchen in my office because the playroom, we didn't realize that the playroom that we're also living in at the moment kind of won't be livable because they have to like kind of knock through into it. So we'll basically be living in our front room and our office will become the kitchen. But I know I'll be doing dishes upstairs in the bath and like it's gonna just be a bit of a juggle for a good three months so bear with us while we're going through it but I know I just keep thinking about like the end result and I know it will be worth it and I'm super excited about all of it uh, but anyway I'm rambling now so I will say goodbye and thanks again see you soon <laughs>